E4832. This indicates no signal from the dish to the decoder or the wrong software. So what do we have to check? The thing, the thing we do know is that the TV is getting a signal from the decoder, so there's no need to do anything with the TV remote or the TV. Watch this video, make sure that the satellite connection is in properly and tight and check the software is up to date. Missing out on your favorite shows because of a signal loss error? If the weather is clear, first check your cables. Ensure that the cable from the satellite dish is tightly connected to the correct input at the back of the decoder. Next, make sure your decoder has the latest software. If you have a DSTV Explorer or single view HD decoder, press help. Select General Information, then Information Central. For all the decoder models, press Menu, then Advanced Options, and select DSD Upgrade. Your decoder will then automatically reboot and your software upgrade will begin. Please do not switch off or unplug your decoder until the upgrade is complete. If this doesn't fix the error, you'll need to take your decoder to a DSTV service center or agency to have it checked out at no cost. Now you have checked the cable is tight and the software is up to date. Next we need to check is the dish. How well does the dish look compared to other dishes? Is the arm droopy? This is probably the most common problem in the coastal areas. The arm rusts and the weight of the LMB, that's the thing at the end of the arm, makes, makes the arm droop. If all this looks well, the next thing to check is the LMB itself. The first thing is the skew. Does the cable enter the LMB at between four or five o'clock, as shown on the slide? Next is a visible check that the plastic that faces the dish is unbroken or cracked. The telltale is usually you get no signal when it rains. That usually indicates the LMB has been cracked as the plastic as the plastic is cracked. Also check if the bracket is not loose uh, on the wall. This is another problem that, that seems to be getting uh, it's not loose on the wall. Another problem that seems to be getting worse is the monkey population seems to be more active nowadays, jumping on the dish. I usually suggest a rubber snake that usually keeps them off as they knock the dish off alignment. Then, if all that fails, then you will have to get a tech in to check the dish. Alternatively, you could buy a meter to align the dish, but it's a long-winded learning curve. Best would be to call a tech in. Hope this is helpful. Thanks very much. Bye.